Now let me quote you from ancient script. Here's what it says. If you cannot see, you perish. You die. We've all got to have a future to work for. We've all got to have the ability to see something beyond ourselves, something beyond just today, something beyond just this week. The future, setting your goals. And a lot of people have asked me tips on how do you set goals. Let me just give you a simple little formula on setting goals. Vision of the future. Being able to see beyond today. Here's a little formula for setting goals. Number one, decide what you want. Get together with your wife and decide what do we want. Get together with your husband and decide what do we want. Get together with the family. Make some decisions. What do we want? Where do we want to go? What do we want to do? What do we want to share? Then some of this has got to be personal. What do I want? What kind of skills do I want? What kind of future do I see for myself, not just for my family, but for me as well, because I'm going to have a major part in my family's future. What do I want? Get together and decide. Now, here's number two. Write it down. Put it on paper. Sometimes you got to take things out of your head, not just operate out of your head. You got to take it out of your head and make a list. Make a list. Do the decision making process and then just simply make a list, write it down. Now, here's number three keep the old list. Keep the old list of goals. One of the greatest signs of personal development is looking back on those old list of goals. I look back at a list of goals I made 10 years ago, and I'm telling you some things on there, I'm a little embarrassed. <clears throat> here's 10 years ago, here's what I thought was so important. Now I'm telling you, it's not that important anymore. I've grown, I've changed, I've matured. And I've got some of my goal lists that go back 20 years, 25 years. Some of those I won't even show anybody. <laughs> Here's what I thought was so valuable. Now I understand so much better as my priorities have changed. Some of the things that used to be on the top of my list right now, I've learned they're not that important anymore. Other things have taken place on the top of the list. So number one, decide what you want. Number two, write it down. Number three, keep the old list. And here's number four, check off. When you do get something that's on your goal list, check it off. The first time I came to Spain many years ago, I happened to have my journal with me that had the list of goals in it. One of them was to someday go to Spain. And I had that journal with me. And when the wheels touched the runway in Madrid, I got out that list and I checked it off. Okay.